Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Now some of you asked me how you could go about making your inventory that you learnt last time into a function. So what I've done, I've prepared this brief tutorial to help you make a add to inventory function. So to start off, the first thing we need to do is make an empty inventory. Now to do that, it's quite simple. You just choose the word. I've used inventory, but it can be a name of your choosing. It's not a problem. You put the equal sign and an open and closed square bracket. Now what this does, it makes a list in memory called inventory, and it just assigns some space in memory for it. Now even though it contains nothing at the moment, because we set it in memory, it's then there for us to use and add things to, which is exactly what we want. So as normal, I've just made a starting room for my adventure. Keyword def, a space, the name for the room, can be a different name than start room, that doesn't matter, that's just what I've called it. Open and close brackets, and a colon as always. Now, again, we must use the global keyword so that this function knows what the inventory is okay so I've got global and inventory so if you name it something else here make sure you name it whatever you've called it there okay next is just a print line telling us that we're in a hall and there's a gold coin on the floor and I've told the user to type yes if they want to pick it up okay all quite straightforward so far so I've called the variable pick up and I've again done equal input open and close brackets so whatever the user enters in it's going to get stored in the variable called pickup. Now the next thing I've done, this is where it starts to get interesting. I've made a simple if statement, again, indented the same as the first three lines. If whatever's stored in the variable we've called pickup, remember double equals, open your speech marks, is equal to yes, close the speech marks, colon. Now remember, this is indented by one tab to make sure it's inside the if statement. What I'm doing here is I'm calling a function that I've made called add to inventory. Now whenever you've seen functions before, the brackets have been empty. This is the first time you're seeing the brackets with something in them. Now this is because we're doing something quite interesting here. Now as I've said there's a coin on the floor, I've just put the word coin and then open and close brackets around it. So what this is going to do, it's going to call the add inventory function, which I've made here, and it's going to send to it this piece of text, a string, called coin. Now, a bit like if you're playing, I don't know, baseball, and if you hit the ball, someone needs to catch it. Yeah. What we need to have now in our function is something to catch the coin as it's thrown over to the function. Now, I've called it item. Now, this is a bit of a weird concept to get your head around, but basically what I'm doing, I'm making a new variable called item, which I can store anything in. It's like a, a holding box in the function and in memory to hold whatever I throw at it. Yeah. So in this case, I throw the word coin, or the text coin, the string, and it gets stored into the, the holding variable I've made called item. I could call it x if I wanted to. I could call it blah. It wouldn't actually matter. Um, I've called it item because it's, it's logical. Yeah, it makes sense because I might want to add different items to my inventory, and I probably would. Yeah, we might find a sword on the floor. We want to pick it up. Well, because I've called this just a generic word, item, I can store anything in it. Now, this next line of code is, again, something you've not yet seen. So, inventory, this is referring to our list here, dot, so that's not a comma, that's a full stop, and then the word append. So, that's A-P-P-E-N-D. Now, append, what that does, it it's basically means add something to the list. Yeah, so it's a posh word for add something to. Now, then I open the brackets again, 
and I put the word item in there, which must be the same as whatever I've put in here. And that says whatever's got stored in this holding variable called item, go and put it into our list called inventory. Okay, so that's what this is doing. And then the very last line of code here, this is just to kick the adventure off. Start room, open and close brackets. You've seen that before, but remember, not indented. Now the last thing I've done here is I've asked the code here to print the inventory whatever happens. Now the reason it's going to print the inventory whatever happens is because I've not indented the print line here. It's on the same level as the if and the else. So if I pick it up, the coin will be added. Else, if I don't pick it up, it will tell me to leave the coin on the floor. But because I haven't indented this print line, it will run this line every time the function is called. Okay, And it will print whatever's in the inventory. Now if I were to tab this in, now it would only print what's in the inventory if I didn't pick up the coin. So this is important. You must have it here to get the inventory to print whatever choice the player makes. Right, let's see this in action. So if I run this, run the module, click OK. Right, so I'm in a hall, there's a gold coin on the floor, type yes to pick it up. Well, I quite fancy a gold coin, so I'm going to type yes. And there we have it. I've now got a coin in my inventory, it's printing the contents. This is quite clever, because as you can see at the top, the inventory was empty when we started our adventure, and now, because I've made this little function, I've got a coin in it. It's automatically added it in. So this is a great way to add things to your inventory um, in your adventure. And I can do this anywhere in my code now. I can just use the one line here, add to inventory, and I could put something else in here. Um, I could put sword. So let's just show you that, just so you can see that this works with whatever I actually throw at it. So I'm going to say there's a sword on the floor now. Space. There we go. So let's run it again. Run module. OK. Or F5. Right, here we go. You're in a hall. There is a sword on the floor. Type yes to pick it up. Yes, I want the sword. It works. Well, it works for anything that's a text string that you want to add into it. Perfect. Now, final test. Always test your code in each way it can run, just to make sure your logic is correct. So this time I'm going to type no. I don't want to pick up the sword. You leave the coin on the floor. I'd need to change that bit of code as well. But the interesting bit is here, you can see our inventory is now still empty. Nothing's been added. So the code works perfectly, except for I'd need to change that line to sword. Yeah? Have a go at this. Try and make uh, add adding to inventory function. And the next tutorial, I'll show you how to delete things from the inventory as well in a simple way. See you soon. Bye for now.